Hello, this eHelp video uh, covers ESI web phone that can be used on ESI's eCloud service. This video specifically is going to talk about transfer using web phone. So let's jump right in. So I am logged into eConsole because that's where I launch my web phone. And if I look over to my left navigation menu, I'm gonna click on my name. And when I do that, I can see various options available to me depending on what is enabled enabled for my extension. And in this case, of course, I wanna want launch the web phone. So I do that and it brings it up in this maximize view. And that's because I use uh, the web phone in the maximize view. However, notice that you also have a minimized view as well, if that is what you prefer. But I am gonna take this back to the maximize view and we're gonna talk about transfer. So there is a different video that talks about incoming and outgoing calls. Um, and then once you've, regardless of whether it's incoming or outgoing, once you're connected to that caller, you can do a transfer. So let us go ahead and do another inbound call, and then we're going to transfer that call elsewhere. All right, so I'm gonna place a call from my smartphone. And I see here I got my notification, so I'm gonna answer. I'm gonna put these calls on mute so we don't get any feedback. Okay, so again, in the other video, we talked about hold um, and record, which is under the more feature, but for this video, we're just gonna concentrate on transfer. So you click on transfer, and there's two ways that you can um, choose where you're gonna transfer this to. You can choose from contacts, and when I do, the window changes and it's essentially a copy of my contacts that are listed over here. So it's not just my um, other extensions or my coworkers, it's all the other external numbers I have um, in my contact list. So I can transfer this call to any of those people that I choose, all right? Let's go back real quick because I wanna show you some other things. The second way though is uh, you just have a phone number written down, you just want to type it in. So you just choose the manual entry and you would type that in here either using your keyboard or typing in your digits here, right? So we're going to actually choose uh, the option of choose from contacts and we are going to choose, um, let's see, Pippa I think is the person we want to try out here. So I'm going to choose to transfer this call to Pippa and she actually has two different phone numbers, so I choose whichever one I desire. I'm gonna choose this one here, and it's gonna ask me, because um, we have this option, do you wanna do a blind transfer or assisted? Remember, blind transfer means I just wanna get this call over to her, I'm not introducing the caller to her, I'm forwarding or transferring it and letting it go. Assisted transfer is where you do want to um, get with Pippa first to say, hey, it's so-and-so on the phone. When I hang up, they'll be, um, they're coming through to you, right? So an assisted or supervised transfer and then blind transfer would be unsupervised. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do an assisted transfer. And then I actually have that cell phone here. So I'm gonna answer it. I'm gonna put her on mute as well. I'm gonna put this on mute. Now, when you go through the transfer process, it's not until you actually click um, the uh, blind or unsupervised uh, transfer option that the caller that you had or are trying to transfer is put on hold. So the whole time where you're clicking transfer and then you choose contact and all that, you're still connected to the original caller. Once I click on the uh, true transfer selection of blind or unsupervised, that's when uh, the original caller is placed on hold, essentially, and I am talking to Pippa. And so at this point, I would say to Pippa, hey, it's so-and-so on the line. When I hang up, they'll be coming through. And then right here, I would click complete transfer. If Pippa says to me, no, I don't want to talk to that person. Um, please just cancel the transfer or um, send them to my voicemail. Then I can do uh, make different options. Um, but here, I'm going to go ahead and choose complete transfer. And you'll notice that the call went away immediately because it's no longer associated with my extension. It's moved on to Pippa. All right. So let us do that again because we're going to try a different scenario. Let me hang up on these guys. Okay. So I'm gonna place another inbound call. Answer, uh, put everybody on mute. 
Okay, now let's go back to our transfer. I'm going to choose that same contact again. But again, even if I chose a different extension, it works the same way. So I'm going to choose Pippa. I'm going to choose her cell. And this time I'm going to do a blind transfer. And notice this time I didn't have to do anything else. It went, that call transferred off to Pippa immediately. I'm done with the call. Okay, so super simple. So that is how you do your transfers. Um, pay attention to our other videos or please watch them. Um, we'll be going over the other features that you saw available, which would be uh, doing a three-way conference in the switch call. All right, thank you for your time.